Thank you. Thank you, guys. In my younger days, I worked for Weird New Jersey. It was a magazine about ghosts in my home state. Now, I spent most days loading shipments in a warehouse and then sprinting up a long incline, pushing a cart carrying a tower of boxes. It was a hard job, but I never gave up because I loved it. And also, because if I stopped pushing, two tons of magazines about ghosts would roll backwards and crush me. <laughs> Now, one day, I pushed my cart all the way to the top, and I'm sweating, and I'm panting, and I'm on the verge of a heart attack, because when I was 19, I had barely hit puberty. And at the top of the ramp, there's this guy. He's cool-ass dude. He's dressed real sharp. He's not sweating at all. He looks like the stringer bell of shipping and handling. <laughs> he finishes loading boxes. He looks me right in the eye, and he says, it's hard being a player. <laughs> it was the coolest thing anybody's ever said to me. I had never seen that guy before. I will never see him again, but I knew his entire life story in five words. It's hard being a player. Five words, that's all it took him. And tonight, I wanna hear from you guys. I wanna learn your life stories in five words or less. Now, I've thought hard about my own. For a while, I wasn't sure what my own five words should be. Big-headed weirdo, mildly amusing. Um, how'd he marry that girl? Uh, sad guy poops pants often. And then it hit me. My life story in five words is Jersey Kid Never Gave Up. Murph, let's go! Good evening, weirdos! Welcome to the Chris Gethard Show with sidekick Shannon O'Neill, internet liaison Bethany Hall, the creature from the sea, the human fish, the greatest house fan in the world, the LLC. From Silicon Valley, we got Kumail Nanjani. Later on, we'll be jamming to some tunes from Downtown Boys. Plus a video with the one and only Amy Poehler. I'm Murph. Bourbon, scotch, rye, Canadian, Irish. Now, let's give it up for our host, Chris Gether! Thank you, Murph. Thank you, LLC. Hello, welcome to the show. Kumail, welcome to our bizarre world. How are you? Oh, thank you. The response to us announcing you are here, the, the enthusiastic nerds, they love you. Oh, good. <laughs> they do. That's my demo. <laughs> it is, yeah. Tonight, we're going to ask people to tell us their whole life stories yeah. in five words. Do you think that's possible? Can we learn everything we need to know about our viewers in five words? I feel like a lot of people out there, five words might be too many. Wow. <laughs> Sometimes you that. just need enthusiastic nerd. That could be the life story of many of us here. <laughs> Shannon, good to see you. Hello, sir. Okay, let's hear it. Your life story in five words or less. My life is none your business. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right, so uh, let's get into it. I want to hear from you guys. I want to hear from everybody tonight. In an episode we're calling Five Word Life Stories. <laughs> Now, tonight, I'm really excited about this. We have a virtual reality camera filming this entire episode. It's right there. Hello to the virtual reality people watching this. It's a very cool thing. We're super psyched. You can download a video that will show you a 360-degree video, and you can use your computer to do it, or you go get some cardboard. You can buy many different brands of this. It's out there. We recommend the one that has my angry face on it. Could everybody please just put these on, face the camera? And uh, yeah, you slide your phone right in there. You see the whole thing. Where you turn, it goes. It's really nuts. I'm actually looking in your apartment right now. Weird. <laughs> I say we get into it. You want to take Skype calls? Yeah. I want to yeah, hear people's sure. life stories. All right. Bethany, yeah. who do we have on Skype? Anna from Brazil. Oh. 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 Awesome. Wow. Anna, so you're going to tell us your life story in five words or less. Sad, nostalgic child of divorce. That was a full picture. That is. I got it. Bethany, let's keep it going. I want more Skype calls. Who do we let's got? Let's keep it going. Ian from Philadelphia. Oh, Ian from Philadelphia. All right, didn't apply himself, got lucky. <laughs> didn't apply self, yeah. got lucky. Yeah. That's a beautiful story. It has such a happy ending. Yeah, and that's a good message for all of yes. you. Yes. Yeah. Ian, thank you so much for the call. I'm glad it worked out. Let's talk to Randy from Virginia. Randy from Virginia. We brought this kid up last week. That's my dude, Randy. Randy, how you doing down in Virginia? Pretty good, man. I'm so happy you called back in, my dude. I just wrote, don't know what I'm doing. Okay. Wow. 
Well, how old are you, Randy? 18. Oh, well, then you're in trouble. You should have it figured out. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I like how this episode's rolling. Let's talk to uh, Liv from Michigan. Liv from Michigan, welcome to the show. You're on. <laughs> Liv, you're on. <laughs> I like the second of deer in headlights. Like, what have I done? Uh, go ahead. What's your story in five words or less? I saw a cow die. <laughs> <laughs> We're ending that there. All-time Hall of Fame call. I saw a cow die is your life story. I want to know nothing else. Clayton from Detroit. Clayton from Detroit. <laughs> Fan favorite. Bad people won't change me. Hell yeah. <laughs> Love it. Who's next? Xander from Louisville. My story in five words or less, always coming up short. Oh, no. Oh, it. oh. <laughs> it's kind of sad, but I got to say, you, you crushed that? that. You crushed that. It was, a, it was perfect. All <laughs> right, cool. we got to go to commercial. But when we come back, Kumail is going to judge the people who work on this show in a game that I designed. Don't go away. <laughs> Show. We're here with Kamel Nanjani. We're having people tell us their entire life story, summed up in five words. As always, if you want to get involved in our show, one of the easiest ways, go to the chat room at thechrisgethardshow.com. It runs 24-7. Bethany's in there right now. Bethany, what's going on in the chat room? Tad from Pittsburgh Tad. said, twice in four years. Okay. <laughs> okay. We're going to move on. We have a game that I have come up with. It puts you in a tough spot, Kumail, but it's all in good fun, okay? We have so many crew members who have worked hard on this show. This is our next to last episode of the season, and I wanted to make sure we had a chance to thank so many of our hardworking crew. So to do so, I designed a game where you get to judge these people called Crew Detective. Because <laughs> it rhymes. It rhymes with true detective oh. is a part. Here's how this game works. I'm going to present you with a group of our crew members. I'm going to read one of their life stories. Then you, without knowing anything about them, you're not allowed to ask them any I'm questions. I'm not allowed to ask them anything. No, just based on look alone, you have to tell us which crew member you think matches the story but I But detectives can ask questions. <laughs> Uh, but I can't uh, see this. You'll is be able to tell just by looking at him. <laughs> Most likely. That sounds that. like a trap. No. <laughs> Here's another thing. Later in the episode, we're going to have you reveal your life story. For every one you get right, you get an extra word. For every one you get wrong, we take a word away. Okay. So you could have up to eight words or as few as two words to tell us your entire life story. It's high stakes. <laughs> <laughs> really matters. Please welcome David, Meg, and Ian, ladies and gentlemen. Ian, thank you guys for doing this, and thank you for all your hard work this summer. So I'm going to read a five-word story. You have to tell me if you think it pertains to David, Meg, or Ian. Nosebleed prone, comma, scared of everything. Because I'm going to say that's intern David. David. OK, David, was that you? Nosebleed prone, scared of everything. You got six words. Amazing. Meg, what was yours? Badass bitch from hell, baby. Wow. Yeah. Welcome to the that show, That would have been Meg. easy. <laughs> Intern Ian's. The result of 12 surgeries. Oh, wow. nice. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you guys so much, our hardworking interns. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's please welcome the world's greatest dancer, Rob Malone, <laughs> Hot Dog, and Jesse, AKA Beef Jerky. Ladies and gentlemen. All right. Good to see all you guys. Feeling good? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to read a story. <laughs> Offbeat entertainer loves reptiles. <laughs> Should I repeat it? Offbeat entertainer loves reptiles? You got it. I don't think you have to. <laughs> I'm going to go with my gut. Hot dog. Yeah. Hot dog offbeat. <laughs> wow. No, wait, hot dog. There is an extra word on your that card. You, that you didn't say. I it. didn't have it. Oh, it says, uh, loves reptile critters. <laughs> so now what you didn't know that many fans of this show know is that while Hot Dog looks the most normal, he is definitely the strangest <laughs> out of this group. Are you, like, friends with them? Are you have pets? Yeah. OK. <laughs> Rob Malone, what was your five-word story? Big hypochondriac sweats too much. Your whole life story. That's a whole life story. OK. And beef jerky, your entire life story is? Uh, boy body, silverback gorilla soul. <laughs> Very nice. All right. 
Thank you guys so much. Thank you guys so much. To right, I will say, I think you are more naturally in tune with the rhythms of this show than almost anyone else who has walked in here as blind as you have. It makes me feel good. It makes me feel good. One more round, you're up to seven words you get for your life story. We can really put some meat on the bones of your life story later on. Let's introduce three of our production coordinators, Michael, Patrick, and Jason. No, 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 no. You are not a production coordinator, sir. You are not a production coordinator, sir. These are two of our production coordinators. This is Vacation Jason. This guy, he's a handful. He's a handful. We battled, okay. What do you mean? What are you talking about? He seems very laid back. Okay. <laughs> Whose life story do you think is islands, beaches, <laughs> bananas, and peaches? Oh, I don't know. Um... <laughs> yeah, I think it's vacation, Jay. Okay, let's hold right there. Michael, is yours islands, beaches, bananas, and peaches? No, it is short outside, but tall inside. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Patrick Connor finally living his lifelong dream of being on camera. Yes. <laughs> Doesn't like being on camera. Doesn't like being on camera, so that means you got it correct. Vacation Jason. Islands, beaches, bananas, and peaches. Great. Thank you yeah, guys Chris so Gethard, much. I got five more words for you. Chris Gethard needs to go on a vacation. That was more than five uh, words. Nick, Chris Gethard needs to go on vacation so bad, the last time he put on goggles, it was to play intramural basketball. Oh! oh! Chris Gethard, he, no, no, he did no, not no. want to high five you. You went Everybody for a high five. Everybody wants to high five me. Please do not encourage him. Oh, I hit him. my teeth. Your idea of surf and turf is hot dogs and Swedish fish. You don't want people to go this on vacation. Needs to end this you guy. want people to Get Photoshop your face on right. frogs' bodies. Get him out of here. We want to go to commercial. Somebody when we get come back, we will hear Kamel's life story. Also, we will make one of you the most famous person in a place you have never heard of. Don't go away. Hello, Ashe. Are you having a good time? Royce and Chris are our twin interns thus far. We've had them pitch to Bill Hader and Judd Apatow. I don't think either one went as well as those guys would have liked. Today, we have Amy Poehler here in the studio, ready to hear ideas from Royce and Chris. My bro, looking good, looking good. What? You didn't know anything. I know we've been messing with you. Yeah. Amy Poehler's here. You need to put your game face on. Yeah. Whatever you guys need to get, you need to go get it. You guys got this. All right. Hey, Amy, how are you? Hi. This is Chris, this is Royce. Chris told me that you guys are working on a lot of stuff that's very female-centric and about women, so I'm excited to hear those. We have some ideas of, like, female leads. There's this idea of, like, someone moving into an apartment and uh, starting to suspect that her neighbors are, like, involved in espionage. Like the neighbor of Mr. and Mrs. Smith kind of thing? Yeah. Does lead woman have a name? Sally. Okay. So like just out of college. Right. I was thinking maybe later. Don't wanted... fight, guys. Would you have a title for this film? Uh, no, we don't have one. Right. You that's have to think of one right movie. now. Uh, what's what's going on over there? I I, I like I, I like, I'm thinking of that names that I like. Oh no, that was a oh. title that I pitched. Oh. If you were gonna go really pitch this, right? I would yeah. say you'd have to figure out films that that feel like a film that you'd want to make that this is similar to. I think we're both really like big that. fans of Edgar Wright. I have Edgar Wright's um, phone number. Should we call him? If you want to, that'd be. <laughs> Let's see if we can get him. Hey. Edgar, it's Amy Poehler. I know. I have you in my phone. I have you, <laughs> I have you in my phone. I've got twin brothers here who are um, interns at the Chris Gethard Show, and I told them that I would call you, and I'm going to give them 30 seconds to pitch to you. Are you ready? <laughs> OK, go. Just go? OK. Uh, <laughs> so the movie idea is a woman moves into an apartment and starts to become convinced that all her neighbors are involved in espionage, and then decides to investigate one of her neighbor's murders after she bonded with him, and then he dis disappears without any clues. And then that's and, pretty and much then it. What happened? Uh, we only have the first act. It's only uh, <laughs> it's only her moving into the apartment, and then. The good news is that when they stop speaking, I said, and then what happens? That's a good first step. I wanted to know more. That makes everybody very excited. Thanks, Edgar. Talk to you later. All right, guys. Great job. Wow. Thank you, really Thank you so much. Yeah, it was really great. You did a great job. I think whatever part of my brain that feels anxiety somewhat broke. Like the other ones were 
disasters, and this oh, one yeah. was okay. <laughs> Welcome back to The Chris Gather Show. Now, if you like that video with Amy Poehler, you can check out the full thing on our YouTube channel. Head over there right now. Tonight, we're joined by Kumail Nanjani. We're hearing five word life stories. Kumail, you have eight words. Your life story in eight words or less. Okay. <laughs> I've watched goats die. They haunt my nightmares. It's amazing, yeah. amazing. I feel like we know everything we need to know. Yeah. yeah. All right, we collected five word life stories from everybody in here on the way in. We put them inside this money wind tunnel thing that you often see on game shows. Now, Kamal, I'm gonna ask you to step inside this thing and you're gonna pick one when it's turned on. Now, whoever you pick, I'm gonna ask you guys to come up here. I'm gonna read your life story and then we're gonna take a photo of you. That photo, along with your five word life story, will then be displayed on a billboard in Tatum, New Mexico. Population under 900, but you will be embraced by those 835 people. Let's get it going. World's greatest dancers handing you some um, goggles. I want to say this uh -huh. has been a dream of mine since I was a child. <laughs> this is very absolute. I, I feel like our audience is very yes, jealous. Yes, I'm gonna make thousands of dollars in there. It's a little scary. It is. I can barely hear you. This feels like a weird, sad movie about like a pandemic disease. I don't have it! Turn on the gas and kill him! No, Jenny! I have to go! Wow! 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 Oh, it's so much! Does he know what to grab? Oh, yes. no. no, this! Under here! Oh no, there's so much. You're so mad. So mad. So mad. You're so mad. No. Oh no. Now you said since you were a child you dreamed of this. Did it live up to all of your expectations? It was horrifying. It looked like a truly bad experience. I didn't know how overwhelming it was going to be. When your fans started, the world changes. You can take it out of your mouth if you want. No. <laughs> I think this is me from now on. I'm so sorry we did that to you. Are we ready to reveal the winner? One of these lucky people, one of these fine folks, will have their face placed on a billboard in the fine town of Tatum, New Mexico. I think we should hear it for Hallie's bangs tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Windswept. So what, these windswept bangs? <laughs> windswept bangs. Can I say something that a friend of, a mutual friend of ours said when he met her? You guys were dancing together and he said it looks like weird science where you made a woman in a lab. I am so lucky I'm funny. I'm so lucky I'm funny. I bring nothing else to the table. <clears throat> Will Brian Levy or Levy please come forward? Brian's back there, I'm sensing. Brian, how are you? Is Levy or Levy? Levy. Levy, Brian Levy. Welcome so much. So Brian, how do you feel about knowing that tomorrow a billboard featuring you will be uh, posted in a desert in New Mexico? Well, I gotta say, I feel just great. You gotta feel, yeah, you just feel just great. Yeah. That's amazing, okay. Cool. I'm gonna go ahead and read your words. I think they're also on your shirt mm -hmm. if you'd like to display them. Spooky stuff, comedy, and antidepressants. Now so come with me, please. Come with me, please. You're gonna stand right there on that X. Let's do it. Right there, right in that X, yeah. Where's our cameraman? Kumail is still trapped in a box. One of these pictures by tomorrow will be posted in Tatum, New Mexico. All right. This is, yeah, please return to your seat, Brian, everybody. As soon as we have photos of that billboard, we will spread them around. We have to take a break. Don't go away. When we come back, I'm so excited. We're throwing down with Downtown Boys. Yeah! Thank you, guys. I want to thank everybody for watching The Chris Gethard Show. Thank you, Kumail. You were the best, absolute best, a favorite of the crowd. I can, I can absolutely guarantee that. 
And also, I am so psyched about the virtual reality. Thank you to everybody in the studio who helped us make that weird and everybody who downloads that in the future. Now, there's obviously no way that we can hear from everybody who watches the show, but I just want to say you really should always remember to take pride in your own story because I promise you it is more interesting than you realize. In five words, ten words, however many words. You are out there, you're a real person, and that's awesome, and we know that. Thank you for watching and supporting our show. We have a stage. It's completely devoted to musical acts. That stage is brought to you by the one and only AT&T. We're calling it that corner over there where music happens. I think it's very cool of AT&T to support something this weird. I give AT&T five bars. Wow. Look at that. Look at all that indie credibility you just got, AT&T. That's awesome. Tonight, I'm so thrilled to welcome our musical guest. I saw them live, and it blew my mind. I'm so happy they are here. Please welcome Downtown Boys. <laughs> Want to get some more TCGS? Head over to thechrisgethardshow.com. Chat rooms, podcasts, videos, virtual reality. Well, hey, there's five words right there. And also, to see the rest of Downtown Boys' performance, get on the Fusion Channel on Apple TV. Goodbye.